Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to spend some time reviewing some of those subtraction strategies. So let's go ahead and get started. One subtraction strategy that we use quite a bit in second grade is the think addition strategy. And when we think addition, we want to subtract, but we want to think about addition to help us subtract. So for example, if you have 18 minus 16, we would probably use this think addition strategy to help us get the answer. So I would take the 16 and I would think 16 plus what number gets me to 18. I know that 16 plus 2 equals 18. So by thinking about addition, I was able to get the answer to this subtraction problem really easily. The next subtraction strategy that we want to review is the counting up strategy. When we have a subtraction problem where the numbers are pretty close together on a number line. For example, 16 minus 14. I know that on a number line, if 16 were here, 14 would probably be, probably be somewhere around there. So the way that we use counting, the counting up strategy is we start at 14 and we count up until we get to 16. So we put 14 in our heads and count up and, until we get to 16. It's very similar to the think addition strategy. So let's start at 14 and count up to 16. Ready? 14, 15, 16. How many was that? Two. My answer is two for this problem. So that was the counting up strategy. Another subtraction strategy that we use quite a bit is the counting back strategy. We want to use the counting back strategy when we have two numbers that are being subtracted, but the numbers are very, very far apart on a number line. If I had a number line here and 15 was about right here, three would be down here somewhere. So when we use the counting back strategy, the numbers on a number line are usually pretty far apart. So we want to do 15 take away three, and we are going to start at 15 and go backwards three spaces. So help me count this, ready? Say 15, and then we will start counting using tallies back three spaces. So ready, here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12. What's the last thing that you said? 12, you're right. So our answer is 12. Another strategy that we spent time thinking about was the going through 10 strategy. This is where we stop at a friendly number, like 10, to help us with our subtraction problem. So let's say that we want to solve this problem 17 minus 9. Well, if I use the going through 10 strategy, what I would do is I would probably think, you know what? I want to get back to 10. So how do I get to 10 using these numbers? Well, I can just start out by subtracting 7 from 17, that will get me to 10. And I know seven is two numbers away from nine. So really, all I have left to do is subtract two more, and then I will get my answer. So what is 10 minus two? Well, that's easy. I know really fast that that equals eight. So 17 minus nine, equals eight. We used that friendly number 10 to help us solve our subtraction problem in an easier way without counting back or counting up or using fingers. 
So some of you may enjoy the going through 10 strategy. Some of you may say, nope, that strategy is not really for me. I like one of the other strategies the best. Which strategy do you like the best? Go ahead and pause the video and talk about which strategies you like to use. Talk about that with your teacher. Today, boys and girls, you are going to get a chance to practice some of those subtraction strategies by using those strategies um, along with your math journal today. You're going to be working on page 90 in your math journal. There are some subtraction number stories that I would like for you to work through. And I would like for you to think about those different um, subtraction strategies that we talked about today. You may also want to use a number grid. You can find that in the back of your math journal. You could even use a number line. I know that myself, Mrs. Tornquist, Mrs. Richard, there we, we all have a number line up around the classroom. So you can use quite a bit of strategies to help you figure out the answers to the problem. So good luck. You're going to do a great job and I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye, boys and girls.